Hi everyone, Dr. Robinson here with another Tech Vision lesson. And today I'm going to show you how to set up Math Flash and then actually how to set up particular programs for the child when you put your disk in or if you download it from the internet site from aph.org you're going to uh, get 32 files on your disk. What I want you to do is and actually if you have your computer set up on auto run it will just auto run and then you can just uh, hit enter on install but here I want you to actually hit S and you're going to find setup.exe. Remember we always want to know extensions because exe are executable files which allow you to run programs and this will automatically add all these other features. Now I'm on a Windows 10 machine so you will need to do some cap compatibility uh, operations and I'll show you how to do that also. So <clears throat> you've got s for setup.exe and I want you to hit enter on that. Okay, and then you get your uh, dialog box that says APH, Mad Flash, install, and of course, start program, which is not available until you install it. Documentation, what's new, and exit. Well, I want to install it, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit my space bar, enter also works. And the next, uh, and just like all wizards, of course, you're gonna go next, 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 install. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do all N on this dialog box that, go, that asks us to go ahead and set this up. Once again, it asks where you want to set this up, and this is on my C drive. Let's just go ahead and use the default and say Alt-N. Now it asks, do I really want to install this? I really do, so I'm going to do Alt-I. And now it installs. And after it finishes installing, and of course this time frame is different for everyone depending on the speed of your computer, I'm going to go ahead and hit spacebar on finish or all F. Now I actually have the option of going ahead and starting program. Well, one nice thing about Math Flash is it does put a shortcut on your desktop and I don't want to continually use my disk in order to run this. So I'm going to just exit with all E. I'm going to close all my windows and go to my desktop. Now I'm on my desktop, I'm gonna go ahead and hit M for Math Flash. And sure enough, it lands right on Math Flash. I'm gonna hit enter and open it. Nine times seven. Okay, so it immediately opens with problems that are automatically set up as defaults, but most of the default settings are way too advanced for our kids. So let me take you to the menu and I'm going to show you how you can set up exactly what you need. Now, if you do have talking software of nine JAWS, times seven, yeah, and he repeats JAWS or NVDA, you will need to turn them off because it's auto uh, speaking. So I'm going to go ahead and do all F. New control plus N. Okay. And menu gonna, item. You're going to continually come back here to set up new and then save new programs, but let's get the program set up. Status bar. There's your menu view. item. And I always tell Checked. people, yeah, you can't, can't hush them up. Okay, keep going through uh, all your items, but I'm going to take you to the most important. Previous problem page up. Okay. Menu so item. We are Unavailable. on Go, Alt-G to Go, and Control-V is a synth synthetic speech, so you can change it there, but we want to do Control-U or Customize Problems. Synthetics, Customize Problems, dot, 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 Control plus U. Okay, and I went Menu up item. arrow to get to that. You also have next problem, first problem, last problem, undergo, which is really nice, but control U will immediately get you into customization problems. Customize problems. Use random problems. Okay, so Radio one, button. once again, that is the default for the program, use random problems. So if this is a beginner, uh, go ahead and tab in. Random. Addition. And it will actually Check tell box. you whether you Checked. can do addition, subtraction, multiplication, uh, etc. But I actually want to use specific problems. You can keep tabbing around to get to use specific problems, but I'm going to do Alt P to jump right there to specific problems. Use specific problems. Okay. Radio so, button. And now we're going to tab into the list view item and actually type out problems. Enter problems colon. Okay. Edit. And all you have to do is just easing uh, whatever numbers that you want to. Let's just set it up easily now.
Okay, so I've gone through and your problems, Colin. And I've just added one plus one, two plus one, three plus one really quickly. Uh, and you always want to use the counting up method when you're starting with beginners because once they get to five, then of course they can say five, put up one finger and count six and so on. Okay, so let's tap, continue to tap through your options. Randomize presentation. I never randomize until the child has had a chance to really practice and perfect, then randomize them uh, and see if they can use other methods besides just counting up. Number of problems, colon. Okay, so there's nine problems here. So nine is enter. Seconds till repeat colon. I usually give them Edit. five, but of course you want to uh, select whatever number is best for your child. And of course, whatever you select, you can always uh, resave this program. So you can come back in, change the number, and then of course, control S to resave it. Number of tries, colon. Well, we Edit. want our, our children to be successful, so at least five, but once again, select what is best for your child. Mock document. Document type. Drill. Okay, so Radio we button. really want them to practice drill and practice and a lot of repetition, uh, especially when they get to multiplication facts. You really want them to get those uh, down, and then, of course, they have tests in school. Okay. And okay. Push button. Or one plus one. So let's quickly go through the program so you can see how this works. Two. Holy cats. Two plus one. Three. That's right. Three plus one. Four. <coughs> awesome. Four plus one. Okay, let's make a mistake so you can see how that works also. Six. Really? And the kids just really start laughing uh, with this. They just love this Four. program. And then, of course, he started repeating. You're hot. Five plus one. Six. Tubular. Six plus one. Okay, let's take a little while so you can see how he's going to repeat for the child. Six plus one. It's wonderful. Seven. Seven plus one. Eight. Galactic. Eight plus one. Nine. Excellente. Nine plus one. One. Zero. Keep it up. Congratulations. You answered nine out of nine correctly in one minute and five seconds. Okay, so this is really nice data collection also. So when the child gets down to doing this really quickly, you want to go ahead and go in and randomize. So I'll F. New control plus N. And you want to Ring go down item. to save Open, as. Save control plus S. Application. Okay, and then new when you're going control. back, you want to go back and create a new control N for a new one. And of course, your problems will start over, but just do your control U, go in and type out a whole new set of problems and then resave that also. That's how easy this is. And then when you want to come back and reopen, exit. 1c colon backslash users backslash dot 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 backslash. They are under your file menu. Of course, make note where you're saving these. I highly suggest making a math flash folder, uh, which we have here also. So it makes it really easy to go into your math flash folder. Okay, so that is how fun that is. Let's go ahead and get out. And let's go to the desktop. And I'm on Math Flash right now. You can Windows M, hit M for Math Flash, right click or applications key on it. And you can down arrow to troubleshoot compatibility if you run this and you're having some issues. And so you can actually select different versions of Windows to operate on your computer, but it works beautifully on Windows 10. Okay, so that is how you do Math Flash. Also, uh, teach them correct fingering. So if they have a numpad, home row is pointer on four, middle finger on five, ring finger on six. So the pointer is going to go up for seven, and middle, of course, is four, down for one, middle finger on five, up for eight, down for two and zero. Ring finger is on six, up for nine, down to three, pinky is on enter. So do teach them the correct fingering. If they are using the numbers above the QWERTY keys, have a high dot on five and zero and line their fingers up.
correctly. So their pinky is hitting one and two, then ring finger on three, middle finger on four, pointer on five, over for six. Then the right hand does pointer on seven, middle on eight, ring finger on nine, and pinky on zero. So teach your kids how to use those numbers quickly and fast, and they will love this program and your child will increase his math skills very quickly. Okay, load that, aph.org, or you can order your own copy. So you can either download it from aph.org or order your own uh, CD for that.